Hello and welcome to another iPhoneNerd.com tutorial. Today I'm going to be covering SHSH blobs and how to back them up. Uh, this is an update to my previous tutorial because my previous tutorial uses Tiny Umbrella and there are some known issues with that and it's just a little bit difficult for the newer users. Um, this tutorial will show you how to do it a very easy way and you'll have them backed up and you can save them on your computer and be good forever. So the first step of what we want to do is just go ahead and open up Cydia like always. Now Cydia automatically does this for you if you clicked uh, help to make my life easier. Uh, but what I've noticed is that sometimes Cydia doesn't back it up fast enough and sometimes you even encounter some problems before before you um before you even uh, get get them to have to have been backed up by Cydia. So, or you could be on 4.1 like me because I need the unlock. I, I'm on AT&T, but I, I, ha I have my iPhone 4 unlocked. Um, you could be on 4.1 and just haven't made it to 4.2 yet to get it to get your SHSH backed up. So, the first thing we want to do is just go ahead and go into Manage and go into Sources. And we need to add the iPhoneNerd.com repo if you haven't already done so. Uh, we do this by going to the top right, hit Edit. Then top left, add, and type in cydia.iphonenerd.com. Don't mind what it says on the screen, it might be typed wrong. And I will put that on the reference on the bottom left of your screen here. There should be a reference, blue reference bubble with the exact URL, so you can copy it off of there. Uh, once you've added the iPhone Nerd uh, repo, we go right into the iPhone Nerd repo. Everything on the iPhone Nerd repo is free. I've gotten some questions about that. Everything here is free. Um, no need to uh, to pay for none of these tools. And what we want to do is just scroll down to S. Well, no. Scroll down to I, not to S. And you will find a program there named ISHSH8. Tap on that. And just install that. Uh, if you don't mind clicking on the ads to support us, you know, we do have a lot of different costs. And uh, remember to like us on Facebook, like us on Twitter, uh, follow us on Twitter, and sub subscribe on YouTube. Please subscribe to our videos. Um, once you've installed that, we're just going to go ahead and hit home. And now it should be on your home screen. It's an orange icon, ISHSH it. You go ahead and you tap that. And here you have your ID, your iPhone model, and the firmware that you're running, which is 4.1. Since I'm not on the latest firmware, and you should, you're probably not going to be on the latest firmware either, if you're jailbroken. Uh, I always just tap on firmware and just hit all versions. That way you get everything that's available right now. And then you just tap at the top right, save. This process takes a little while sometimes. Um, in my experience, it's taken a minute two minutes to complete but once it's done you should get a pop-up message that says that it has downloaded the SHSH blobs for all the current firmware versions I'm just gonna cancel this one here because I already have mine and I don't want you guys waiting around it's gonna say it's gonna pop up and say I did that it's downloaded everything and once it has downloaded everything you just go to manage SHSH and you'll see all your blobs there 4.01, 4.02, 4.1, 4.21 these are all your SHSH blobs and what I what I recommend you do is just tap on the top right send all and it will give you an attachment with all all of them right and then just email them to yourself and save them in a secure place on your PC um, this is a safe way to do it Cydia does do it for you, but it's always nice to have your own hard copies just in case you know you run into some issues. You can always have this stuff laying around, and if you want to use jailbreakme.com forever, if you want to use, if you want to use, if you want to use Cydia forever, if you want to just jailbreak and unlock your phone, you need to do this. It's extremely important and extremely vital. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for watching this tutorial and. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, please. It's the top 
It's that button on the top uh, right there that says uh, subscribe in yellow. Please do so, and uh, you guys have a nice day. After you plug it in, all you do is click save my SHSH, and it'll go through the process of doing that. Sometimes, however, the uh, I'm going to see if it goes through here now. Yes, mine went through. So it says it successfully saved through Cydia, and it was also successfully saved locally. Yep. Sorry, I'm starting to get a phone call. Alright, also successfully saved lo uh, local. Um, if in the event that you're trying to do it and it just fails, it just does not want to do it, you want to go into advanced options and you want to change request from Cydia to request to Apple. Right? Now, this is not going to save it with Cydia, but you'll still have it locally. Um, just do that and get it from Apple. Yeah. Now, let's say you already let's say you uh, you've done this you want to downgrade all you have to do is run tiny tiny umbrella again tiny umbrella again and you want to hit start TSS server now iTunes will request